what does a non-disclosure agreement mean? Whenever there is a relationship, a contractual relationship which is about to be developed, there will be exchange of information within between the parties, right? To protect that information from being disclosed further, a non-disclosure agreement is executed. Basically, suppose you want to hire a law firm. Obviously, you will be sharing your confidential information with the law firm. Now, you don't want it to be disclosed somewhere else. You will execute an NDA for that. The most common uses of NDAs include, these are used for commercial transactions, employment contracts, research on confidential projects, and government work contracts. So basically, to protect the information, an NDA is executed. Moving ahead. Now, there are two types of NDAs. One is a mutual NDA and one is a unilateral NDA. Mutual NDA may both the parties have to keep the information confidential. Dono me se ya tino me se koi bhi aage information nahi wo kar sakta. Unilateral me one of the parties is obligated to keep the information confidential and they cannot disclose it to anyone else. Now, now coming to the key provisions. The most important provision in the NDA is the definition of the confidential information. What is the information you want to be treated as confidential? So, if let's say before the contract, there's a lease deed which you want to execute. You will be sharing your title documents and other things. You don't want it to be known to the world. You need to have a specific clause which captures everything in the confidential information. What is the information that cannot be disclosed? So, what? We had a live case in which usually what happens in the definition of confidential information, the parties include any kind of information that is being shared in the contractual relationship between them. However, in one of our matters, what happened was the information, the confidential information was not, definition was not clear. It was restricted only to the information which was shared over the email. And there were documents which were shared physically, so on. technically they didn't part form part of the confidential information. When the parties tried to enforce confidentiality obligations on them, those were not granted by the court. So there are many, many instances in which the definition of confidential information plays a key role. And what the market practices to include any kind of information that has been shared between the parties as part of the confidential information so that there is no problem in enforcing the provisions at the time if there is any uh, if there is any breach